How's it going guys? Dom here. In this video we're going to do number 716 max stack. So design a max stack data structure that supports stack operations and supports the finding and supports finding the map the stack's maximum element. Implement the max stack class. So it contains the following uh, elements here. So we got max stack which simply initializes the stack object. We got void push uh, int x, pushes the element x onto the stack. We got int pop, which removes the element on top of the stack and returns it. We got int top, gets the element on top of the stack without removing it. We got peak max, so it retrieves the maximum element in the stack without removing it. And then we got int pop max, so it retrieves the maximum element in the stack and removes it. If there's more than one maximum element, only remove the topmost ones. So basically, what we got here is obviously init's going to be pretty uh, basic here. I'm going to switch it up to Python. So all we need to do for the init or the initialization is simply just to initialize our stack as usual. So self.stack is equal to an empty list, right? So here, what we want to do for void push int x, we obviously want uh, to have a uh, no return value here. So all we need to do is we need to uh, append values into the stack here, right? So here, basically what's going on, if you don't understand stacks, is let's just say that we had uh, push 5, so we'd push 5 onto the stack here. Well, let's see here we go so we got five here and then like say one and then say five etc 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 right so that's basically what's going on with the stack here and then we got a uh, pop which basically just returns uh, let's see so pop 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 where is it so we return one, five is on, so we return one. So assuming that, for example, if we had five and one in our stack, we'd pop this one out and then we'd return the one, right? So return self.stack.pop is gonna be that value, right? Now, we want to get the top value. So let's take our case here. We got five over here. Let's extend the stack. So basically what we wanted to do here is get the five on top of the stack. So all we're going to do is we're going to return self dot stack negative one because negative one is going to be the topmost element and that's the reason why we're uh, taking the topmost element here so this would be negative one right hope that's clear so we got peak max here so all we're going to do here is let's see peak max is five and one we don't have to modify any elements inside of the stack here so all we need to do is we're going to return max of the stack, right? Hope that's clear, right? So all we're doing is we're comparing, say, for this example, 1 and 5. And we're going to return 5 here, right? All right. So the last one is going to be pop max. Now this one's going to be a little bit different here, simply because of the fact that there is a possibility that there is more than one maximum element. So we definitely need to deal with that uh, in some way, right? So what we're going to do is given that we already found what the max element actually is, what we want to do is you want to return that value. So we're going to have value is equal to uh, self dot peak max right and then we're going to create a for loop 
looping through all the values, starting from the topmost value, going to the bottom. So we're gonna do basically what's a reverse for loop. So let's just say that we had five here. We would start at five, which recall from over here was self.stack negative one. And we go all the way to uh, what's the length of the stack minus one, right? And this is gonna be negative. As if we were going here, for example, it would be something like zero to the length of the stack minus one. That's a little bit messy, but you kind of get the point there, I hope. Let me know in the comments below if that's not clear. So what we do here So let's code that up. So for i in range, we'll start with negative one, go to the length of uh, self.stack minus one and decrement by one each time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, so if the self.stack value negative i is equal to the maximum value, which we define here. So as we're going through here, obviously in this one, it's gonna be five is already part of the, is already the max value here. We are simply going to break out of the for loop since we have found the, uh, found the function and it's the topmost value. That's why we're starting at the top here. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that uh, value from the top of the array, self.stack, negative i. And we're gonna break, since we wanna remove the element here. And lastly, what we wanna do is we wanna return the value, right? Nice and simple. That should work, given that I didn't make any uh, errors here. Okay, so one test case here and accept it, it's an O of N uh, time solution. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.